there are deputies of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his representatives, and his hujjah that you have to know them and you have to follow them. And who is the one in our time? We have to find out. And the, uh, the saying of the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Prophet, that he says, man mata wa lam ya'rif imam al-zamanihi mata mitatan jahiliya has been narrated both on the authority of Shia narrators and on the authority of uh, Omari narrators that one has to know the Imam of his age and if he does not know him, this is the saying of the Prophet then when you die in this world while you are alive you will live like a Muslim and you will be treated like a Muslim and you would be accepted like a Muslim your wedding, or your nikah would be okay and uh, if someone deals with you, if you touch somebody it's not going to, you are not going to make him nudges but once you die, you will not die as a Muslim and you will be not resurrected as a Muslim amongst Muslims. In order to be resurrected as a Muslim, On the day of judgment, they will not call you by your father's name, by your mother's name. They will call you. They will summon you by your imam's name. Who is your imam? Who, who did you follow in your lifetime? They will call you. Who did you pledge allegiance to in your lifetime? They will call you and summon you under his banner. So... And the day of judgment, if you want to be amongst Muslims and with Iman, with faith, then you have to know your Imam and you have to follow him and you have to listen to him. And this, uh, obviously this discussion requires a lot of detail. I presented this to you in brevity because a lot of viewers, 99% of my viewers, they do not understand English. So please forgive me if I cannot go more in detail in this. Inshallah, I hope Allah gives me the capacity and the ability that I present to you lectures in English from this TV or another channel, inshallah, if we are able to start a new channel. Then, inshallah, we'll have programs in English and for the English-speaking viewers and those of you who do not understand Farsi, then we'll, we'll have English programs. Uh, and the, your second question, you said that lectures that are de uh, delivered by uh, Omari scholars at your university, it's preferable that you do not attend them because it's, it's possible since your information about uh, Islam and your information with regard to your faith and Shiaism and your readings with this regard are very limited and very superficial. Uh, that if you listen to these people, they might be able to deceive you and they might be able to trick you away and they might be able to lead you astray. So unless you're confident from your own position and your own convictions that they will not be able to lead you astray in any way, then it's okay to go there and listen to them and just find out what they're saying. But unless you are at that level of strength in your learnings with respect to Islamic subject, it's preferable that you do not go there and instead uh, watch this TV show and shows like this and programs, religious programs from TV, this TV, other TV, on the Shia channels, inshallah. Uh, and read Islamic books. There are very good websites, alislam.org, al-islam.org. There are, and similar sites, there are a lot of good Shia books there you could read, inshallah. من خیلی عذر میخوام از بیندگان عزیز که من این خواهر ما در انگلیسی پرسیدم گفتند انگلیسی هم جواب بدیم خواستن انگلیسی جواب بدیم ببخشم 